Hello everybody, John here and today on to the garage we're going to look at strut tops again and alternatives for strut tops in your XKA, XKR, X100 should you not already have them and you want to do a mouse oil dispenser or just tidy up the tops of your struts but as it's um, coming up to New Year now I'm not quite sure when this video will go out and we're a little out of sequence on things so um, we've got blue the, in the garage, the XJ uh, diesel, uh, X358, which is the box bumpered or upgraded um, XJ with the squarer features. And she's in here because she's having a complete brake refit. Um, not to the same extent as on Purdy, my XK. We're not replacing everything with EBCs. We're just replacing it with decent aftermarket parts. And she's been up on the ramp now for a little while. And I need to get her out and about. Make some use of her. And start enjoying her again. Lovely, lovely thing to travel around in. And I'm going to give you guys a proper tour of the interior real soon. Just as soon as I manage to get it down off the ramps. We've got Betsy the T4 Trophy. Um, lots of tasks to do on her. Um, I've been sent a slave cylinder. No, master cylinder support bracket by Boatyard Buzzes. Thank you so much for that. Um, just a free contribution People who like from people who like the channel. And I'll be fitting that to my master cylinder as soon as I get a slightly drier day, so I can lie around outside and basically eliminate all possibilities of twitch coming from that master cylinder and support it so that the pedal bracket and pedal doesn't fracture which is a big issue on T4s Yogi the Jeep is just continuing to give sterling services and really gives no issues whatsoever so impressed um, filthy dirty I'm afraid but it's filthy dirty on the roads at the moment and Purdy is yet again back outside um, clean but wet and again, as soon as Blue's last brake part turns up, she'll be back in the garage and I can crack on with all of the secrets of the XK8 stuff that I've got planned to share with you guys over the next month or so. So, under the hood. So one of our last outings was looking at strut tops and I've installed a mouse oil dispenser into this strut top as witnessed by the holes and if you'd like to know more about that then check out the video on fitting a mouse oil dispenser to your strut tops which I'll put a little link or a card in the top right um, so you can follow that but one of the issues is some of you don't have these strut top covers and sometimes that's because they've got lost sometimes it's because the car is later and didn't have them just has the exposed top like so um because of cost down and whilst that's not the ugliest thing in the world um it's not as pleasing to the eye as a covered top to your strut so that opens up the question how to get these things they are getting rarer they're not available um, as new from many places anymore unless it's new old stock you can get them occasionally from car breakers but i said i'd share with you some alternatives so here is number one of two options i'd like to propose to you this is a trailer bearing cover it's actually for an Ifa Williams trailer uh, Ifa Williams is the correct pronunciation but everybody still says Ifa Williams um, and it's an indispension part which is a popular brand of trailer suspension 
um, parts manufacturing stuff. There's the serial number. www.indispension.com but you'll find very similar items available on the internet and all we have here if I just open up the packet is a 72 millimeter wheel bearing cover So, if we look inside this, what we've got is two 5mm holes have been drilled in opposite faces, a little bent bracket made and bolted in using a black headed bolt, which I hook under the edge of the hole. And on the other side, I've bent a bracket around a nut to make a captive nut so that when you tighten this screw this little bit moves this way and hooks under the other side now this is not pretty at the moment and um, there is a reason for that but i wanted to show you how it's done and that's been retracted and it comes off so you can take this drop it into position and then just turn the screw and it will hook itself into place. There, really good. Um, next step for this, if I was keeping it, would be to just use some sandpaper or emery cloth to knock off the Aoife Williams trailers logo and their telephone number. And then I would spray it with a textured black finish and it would blend in perfectly with everything else in the engine bay. This cap is exactly the same depth as the original. So I just grabbed that. So it's the same height. It does have this slightly less um, beautiful finish round here because that's supposed to go inside the hub, but that's okay. You don't really see too much of it. You tend to see just the top. And if you, like me, don't have cats, what you can do is cut this piece off and just do the mod in the top with two nice screws in it and it'd be flusher better and probably more elegant than the original so that's one of our options and is more than capable of accepting here's one i prepared earlier one of our mouse oil dispensers which we can mount glued into the bottom and away you go. I'll put a link to these caps in the description below, but they are available widely. Um, 72 mil trailer bearing cover. Let's reinstall my mouse oil dispenser i didn't finish this one off particularly well because it was more for demonstration purposes for, for you guys than anything else um i've gone another route this is my winter cover but when i'm not worried about mices i have got that Yep, this rather beautiful item is my strut cover for dressy occasions, shows, and enjoying the car point of view. Just going to turn the brightness of my light down so you can see where it is the full on Jag Growler in gold on a black background in a stainless steel turret cover. Where have you got one of those from me, I hear you cry. Well, it won't surprise you to know, but it's not a strut cover. What it is, 
is an early XJ hub cover. When we used to make wheel centers that were quality and they start off looking like this. It has this spring clip inside that's intended for the original purpose. And you can modify this to fit the strut top if you like. Problem is it's quite a sharp and aggressive spring and it will scratch the paint. So instead, what I've done is to remove the spring clip, which just can be pried out of these things to leave the stainless steel shell. And then put a wing nut on top of the strut using the thread that's already there and a piece of flexible plastic cut to the right length so that it hooks under the lip inside this strut cover. So literally all I have to do is put one under like that, sit it down, see that's longer, and then flex the whole thing, stretch it over, and settle it down nicely. Perfect. I'm really pleased. And I think it finishes off the engine bay rather nicely in that area. Just to show you what this is all about. So wing nut off. You can use a normal nut, I just like the wing nuts. Then we've got this plastic strip, which is a little bit snug on the thread, so it's easy to unscrew it when it is pull it off. And you see I've got, a radius the ends to match the curve inside the cover. There is some exposed thread still down here. And this is curved because where it's going to pull down to is below the surface of this so these will naturally sit up which is perfect it's exactly how you need it you're going to do no damage to your car it's not going to fall off and it's quick and easy to reverse so here's my strip of plastic it is two mil thick it is a strip and it's not desperately important, but mine, just for your interest, is 35 millimeters wide. I have a 10 millimeter hole in the middle. And then the length is 90 millimeters, although it is cut to a rough 90 millimeter radius rather than flat ends. But you can experiment with the length depending on where your struts are mounted, how far down you pull the nut, etc., etc., you might find that a slightly longer or slightly shorter strip gives you a better fit. So um, this, this won't send you far wrong, but you may want to play around with it. And I've used a sort of nylon material, and it is just a draw divider from this sort of draw. So, I hope you find that interesting, guys. I'm going to wrap up here because, I don't know if you can see in the distance, our windsock that marks our house for deliveries is busted. The skies are going black again. And we're going to get ready for yet another storm. So, I don't want to be out for too long. Um, I hope that's of interest. I've got lots of really interesting things to share with you really, really soon. I hope you can have a fantastic new year, even if it's not celebrated in our normal way, and that you all stay safe. There is lots of interesting stuff in the garage waiting to be sorted out for Purdy. And just to give you a little hint of what might be going to go on, Any clues?
Lots to come real soon. Enjoy. See you soon.